One of the places I gotta stop every time I'm in the Phoenix area is my friend Scott Taylor's house. I've known him since 1991 or 92. He's the registrar for the 428 Cougars and uh, he, he's a hoarder. Um, he's not a crazy hoarder like you hear about, but uh, he's got it bad. So we're actually gonna go through some of his project cars and parts. And by the way, here we are in a nice residential area, dead end road, and what's in his front lawn? This is Scott. I like Scott because he's so much like me. If uh, he's going down the freeway with his family and he spies a glint of a taillight in the sun that might be a cougar, you, you can bet there's going to be a U-turn and he's going to be investigating. Problem is, uh, after a while that catches up to you, Scott. That's true. <laughs> How many cougars have you bought? You run out of room really fast. Yeah. I have to say you have a tolerant wife. Uh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> If you know where a 428 Cobra Jet Cougar is that's unknown, barn find, whatever, it's not that he's trying to buy it or anything, but he likes to document them. So if you have any information on 428 Cougars, any years, uh, he's the guy to contact. And you can get a hold of Scott and about 15 other guys like him that have collections like this at mercurycougar.net. Scott goes, goes by 428 Cougar Guy. So show us some of the cars you got around here and tell us which ones that are, that are gonna be for sale. Let's walk around. Sure. XR7 convertible. Tell us about this 73 with original paint. This one was interesting because it, it was a young kid who had it and he had started restoration and of course never finished it. And he was moving out of town and so he had to sell it quick. And uh, I, I really wasn't looking for another car, but they just kind of multiply, like you said. Yeah. It looks like it has an AM FM and came with the optional passenger side sport mirror. And it's got uh, the bumper that everybody likes on the front without the impact strips. That's original paint. This is a convertible that's not rotted out and it's under four grand. Um, I need to buy some of these. <laughs> Now this one might be one of my favorite ones here. It is original paint. You only get original paint once. No vinyl top. Um, this would be a great platform for a resto mod because it doesn't really have any options, does it, Scott? Fairly low options. Power steering and air conditioning. That was it, pretty much. Now, is it a Dan Gurney special or are those just Montego hubcaps? You know, I don't have the Marty report, so it could be, don't know for sure. And it has a motor in it, 302 two barrel? 302 four barrel. Oh, actually. is this a J code? This is a 68 J code, and it does have the 68 J code heads and all that fancy stuff for those of people that like the matching numbers. You know, I get so many people that call me and say from the East Coast, I need two fenders, I need two doors, I need two quarter panels, I need a trunk pan, I need, wait a minute. For three grand, you get a rust-free Arizona car that's basically all original. Start with something solid. There's cars like this languishing all over backyards across the West. You could do whatever you wanted with this car. Cheap platform to start with, and they won't be cheap and plentiful forever. The word's out. Cougars are pretty hot. How many cougars do you have? Do you know? I don't know. I don't count them. That way I can't tell my wife when she asks. This is the unicorn of the bunch. This is more rare than a GTE. This is more rare than a drag pack eliminator probably. Tell us about this 429 car. 
Yeah, so this 429 Cobra Jack car, like you said, was one that uh, we found and we, when we uh, were talking with the guy who had it, we didn't believe him because it's so rare. It came out of San Diego and it was uh, owned by a guy who had a large Ford wrecking guard over there. And he had bought it because he wanted to take the engine to put in his Torino Cobra, which is where the engine still is to this day. But it's a uh, black on black XR7 hardtop, J-code, Ram Air, uh, just a, a amazing find. This is a car worth putting together. I don't know, you might want to keep this one, but you can't restore them all, can you, Scott? That's right. Yeah, this one, uh, unfortunately, because it was stored outdoors probably for the last 30 years, it, it does have a little bit of rust in the back end and in the floor pans. You see the windows down? That's because right. it's been down for 30 years. Right. right. That's where the rust came from. Right. You have to have some skill and some uh, sleuthing to be able to put together one of these because the parts are rare. What do you think? What's this car worth? What do you want to sell this one for? And what does it come with again? Uh, I have collected a few parts over the last few years. I've got the exhaust manifolds and the heads and the original intake from the car. Uh, so a few parts. Uh, a C6, although it's not a cast iron C6. Um, yeah, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just say make an offer on this one. It's it's obviously rough. But he it, takes but it's seven hard. grand in a heartbeat. <laughs> Tell us about the story on this find. Yeah, so this one is kind of a unique find because it's a. Oh yeah, yeah. That, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now this one's not really for sale. You bought this as a starving college student years back in Utah. Tell us how you landed this 428 Cobra Jet gem. Yeah, so this was actually my very first Cobra Jet car and I uh, had been looking for one for quite some time and this one uh, came up it was owned by a, a local person there in Utah uh, who was into Torinos and uh, he really didn't like the Cougars and so uh, we worked out a deal and I ended up driving it home from Utah uh, back here to Arizona and uh, it's been a great car ever since it's uh, got the Marty report it uh, has factory ram air uh, black car with the black and white houndstooth interior uh, but just a white vinyl top the police car look. Yeah, absolutely. So. And again, another rust-free Western car. Yes, correct. I like this one. I have to say I have an incredible job. I get to cruise around and visit buddies and look at their Cougars and, and uh, what, a, what a neat opportunity. 